Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 29th May. Last few days I have been feeling really jittery with the election results coming up and where the markets are headed. I have shared in the previous episodes that I have been heavily shorting the market. I have made losses at times and for the people who are full time into the market, it is tough to decide whether to remain long or be short. I went back to a video which I saw some time back. I'm not sure if you believe in astrology, but there were few inputs I took from this video. Then I went back to someone I admire a lot, Monish Pabrai. I took some inputs from this video. Then finally, I went to the drawing board. I created a model. I released two videos simultaneously yesterday night around two o'clock. This is an objective model that I used for my own decision making. And I also released as a video for your benefit. Later in this video, I'll tell you what I did with this model after two sleepless nights and a marathon three videos yesterday. Just a sneak peek if you have not seen the videos yet. This is how the model output looks. There is an Excel download available. You can use it to tune the model to your liking. Do give it a shot if you are unsure of what to do ahead of the elections. This month's FI sell data is already 40,800 crores. This is the net sell amount. The last time they sold as much was Jan of 2022. So nearly one and a half years since FI sold so much net in one month. And we still have two days to go. The sell figure may cross a half century this time. DIs on the other hand have crossed the half century already today. They have your and my money. They are happy to spend it. They keep on buying whatever FIs are selling. These two graphs may look a lot similar, but they are not same. This is Nifty. This is Bank Nifty. Last two days, nearly a 45 degree fall. Yes, there are a little up and down, but more or less no strength coming. There is a straight fall that too many, many steep ones. If we were not in election season, I will probably not pay too much heat to this graph. 0.8% down. There were a bit of recoveries in the day like this, but that's okay. More or less the trend was down. VIX surprisingly went down a bit, but that was towards the end. In the initial part of the day, it was up only nearly touching 25. Most of the heavyweights were down. Reliance was down 1.1%. Reliance has been down for four straight days. This is bad news. So is TCS. Last four days, no greens. HDFC Bank was down today. Bank Nifty's expiry. ICIC Bank, however, last four days down. Big Boy is Reliance. Big Boy is TCS. These are cracking. The Bank Nifty expiry was kind of smooth in the sense it only went down. For some reason, Bank Nifty is not updated today. Other indices are looking fine to me. Bank Nifty actually closed 640 points down at 48501. 1.3% down. Nifty IT was down 1%. Big cut. Nifty energy down half percent. Gold down a bit. Brent up a little. Bitcoin 68,000. It's totally indecisive. Silver hardly any change. On the other hand, in the US, Nvidia was up another 7%. Nvidia is now $2.8 trillion in size in market cap. Apple is $2.9 trillion. Microsoft is $3.2 trillion. Apple is not doing that great these days. So I expect Nvidia to cross Apple any day. Nvidia will then be number two company in the world. I mentioned about the charts. So Reliance was down whole day. No major attempt to recover. What is likely is FIIs were offloading and this was being lapped up by DIIs. Good, bad, I don't know. But the trend is suggesting FIIs are dumping large stocks DIIs are buying them. Now, if the markets go up, this is good for DIIs and you as a result. If markets tank, your portfolios in mutual funds will tank because DIIs have been buying continuously for months now at high prices when the markets have been going up. In the longer run, over two years, five years, yes, you could make money. In the shorter run, be ready to see blood. Same trend with HDFC, more or less down throughout the day. Slight attempt towards end to recover, but that was very minor, hardly 5-10 points. Sector snapshot slightly better than yesterday, 13 sectors up compared to 9 yesterday. Banking cracked today, it was our last expiry before the election results. Profit booking, maybe jitteriness. Aerospace and defense, Mazagan Dock, fantastic results. I sold my last lot today, 10.55% up. Automobiles, nothing major, let's sort on change. Aerospace up, pharma defensive up, markets are cracking, people move to defensive, diversified industrial Adani enterprises up, 
half percent let's see what was down insurance was down most followed by banking real estate cracked integrated hardware and software tata technologies corrected let's check oil and gas yep led by reliance one percent down let's check software zomato up a little besides that everything was cracking nifty 50 sea of red selective stocks did well hindalco up nestle up power grid up sun pharma pharma and fmcg are the defensives they will fall little or may go up volumes toward decent which means lot of people were exiting booking profits ahead of the results or maybe panicking let's check what was down most yeah, the insurance pack hdfc sbi followed by icic bank tata consumer tech mahindra next 50 35 down 15 up not much better in fact most of the top stocks were red Torin pharma was up adani wilmer was up madarsan sumi good results four percent up shallow volumes nifty next 50 volumes have evaporated ever since the market started falling it index completely red energy power grid was up rest everything was down bank index besides au small finance everything was down psu pack no better slight upticks in canara bank indian bank but the big boy sbi was down a percent how is my portfolio looking today it is intentionally blank i have squared off all positions converted all positions to cash including the loss making ones so all the positions that were open yesterday with about 70,000, 80,000 loss, I booked the losses, moved out completely. Not just in trading positions, it's a personal call I took. I sold off a significant amount of my investments, medium to long term also. The larger ones, I've sold 50% of the portfolio. The mid-sized and small-sized ones, I've completely sold all positions. This could be a really stupid move. So don't take any inspiration from that. I'm just sharing my experience. When I'm jittery, when I'm uncertain, when I feel markets will fall. And my reasoning here is there will be some sort of political uncertainty, some problems starting as early as tomorrow or Friday, not necessarily on 4th of June. Stock markets just need right now a trigger, a pinprick to burst the balloon. And there could be a snowball kind of effect. It could create anywhere between 10 to 20%, 30% kind of falls if it starts. Because there has not been any major profit booking for many years. Literally after pandemic, there was a week's fall around the Ukraine war. No major correction has happened. So markets have a lot to lose. In these kind of falls driven by large events, valuations don't matter. In any case, valuations of most stocks and most sectors are very rich. This year, most analysts are not seeing too high gains either. But I did trade in FNO. Let me take you there. That's more interesting. As of yesterday, I had unbooked profit of around 7-8,000 and a booked loss of around 35,000 from the previous week. Today, I played the indices volatility, ups, downs, ups, downs, keeping an eye on Reliance very carefully. So whenever Reliance was going up, I was buying call options. Whenever Reliance was correcting, I was buying put options. This was a position which was open from yesterday. I closed it with 38,000 profit finally. These two positions are a beer call spread they go together 10 lots right now this is about a 6000 profit this should reach about 22 23000 by the end of next week if the markets don't run up significantly today i shorted another 20 lots of nifty next week's expiry 6th of june 22 700 put options again i have bought options i'm scared to sell options right now because of unlimited losses there could be huge spikes I am happy to lose whatever amount I am putting in here right now. This is a temporary phenomena. I would not do it otherwise. And I am happy to lose to decay also about 8,000 a day. Let me show you what this could potentially mean. Let's say Nifty goes down to 20,000 levels. That's a 10% fall. I know it's not probably going to happen. 11.9, 12%. Let's say on 4th of June. When result starts to come in this will be a profit of 11.5 lakh let's be more realistic let's say around 21,000. still gonna be 6.5 lakh but yes there is about 2 lakh to lose if the markets rally i found the risk reward ratio to be good especially in line with my conviction now based upon inputs that are coming in i might change my mind and i might change my mood 
so next update you might see me squaring off this position i'll keep you posted however like most of you i am also pretty nervous i'm also trying to adapt continuously to the evolving conditions as we head into the results today i tried a very small trail with tata steel also however i was scared because tomorrow is the expiry and i didn't want to get into any delivery kind of situation let me tell you what this strategy was so it's called long straddle i was expecting either tata steel will go up or go down it will not remain stationary in about a 2% kind of zone so if the stock is volatile after its results i'll make money however if it is range bound then i'll lose money that was the basic strategy so for now i am staying with my conviction of staying short i am happy to lose 5 to 10% of the upside based upon the likely result that the modi government will come back to the power my shorting is not related to any other party coming to power my shorting is based on the uncertainty that i see ahead i don't see a clear majority on 4th of june the same prime minister the same finance minister may come back to power i am not speculating on that part i am just feeling that there is uncertainty ahead there are events that i am expecting which will lead to stock markets cracking i could be totally wrong but for now i have decided to go with my conviction i would suggest if you are finding it difficult to find your conviction do watch the videos which i released yesterday try out the model maybe come to a conclusion don't follow tips don't follow me for sure create your own theory create your own conviction and play that conviction if you are not sure then stay out you can rejoin the party once the results are out and we are more certain about the outcome and the next steps better to stay on cash better to save your cash thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow